Okay, hello again, students. Uh, in this, I will show you on how to solve some other types of problems related to arithmetic sequence. So, there are times that the problem will not give us uh, enough information for us to solve or to use our n term. Remember that the n term is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the difference of n and 1 times the common difference. Or in, in uh, other way of reading this in the Philippines, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity, this quantity, this result, n minus 1 times the common difference. So it means in this, we prefer us to find any term in an arithmetic sequence, the information must be first, you will have your first term and you know your common difference. This, these are the things that uh, you need to know for, for you to solve any missing term. So in this type of problems, it seems like there is not enough information given to us. But these types of problems can also be solved using this formula. Okay? Uh, number one, find a sub 1 if a sub 3 equals 2 and a sub 6 equals 11. Or in, ad, in, in other words, the first term is missing given the third term 2 and the sixth term is 11. So how do we do that? If you are going to analyze, you don't have the first term, you know your second, uh, you don't have your second term, but you know your third term, which is 2, you don't have fourth term, don't have fifth term, but you know your sixth term, which is equal to 11. So with this information, we have the third term, and we have the sixth term. So with this, as you can see, you may use these two for you to be able to solve this first term. So by, by what way? First, you need to solve your common difference. So solve the common difference. So how do we do that? First, let us assume that a sub 3 is your first term. And if this is first term, let's count first, second, third, fourth. Therefore, a sub 6 will be your fourth term. So what happened? As you can see, 3 minus 2 will be 1. And 6 minus 2 will be 4. So you have just adjusted two terms. These two terms. Okay? So by having this formula, your n term would be the a sub 4, the last term, equals your first term now is 2. The first term now is 2. Plus your n now is 4 minus 1 times the common difference which is what is our common difference we don't have yet a common difference because that's what we are solving okay so a sub 4 by substitution would be 11 equals 2 plus 4 minus 1 equals 3 times the 3d so in this all you need to do is to solve the common difference. First, you cannot combine 2 with 3D because they are unlike terms, but 2 is a constant term and 11 is a constant term. They don't have variables, therefore we can combine them. Apply addition property of equality. So apply APE or transpose to the other side. Positive will become negative, therefore 11, bring down 11, then positive 2 will become negative 2 is equal to bring down 3t. Okay, let's erase this first for us to have some space. Okay, here you go. 11 minus 2 will be 9. 9 is equal to 3d. Dividing both sides by 3, you will have d is equal to 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Therefore, your common difference is 3. So if this is 3, your next term would be 5, your next term would be plus 3, would be 8, and your next term, 8 plus 3, check, we have 11. So therefore, your common difference is 
3. But you are asked to solve for the first term. So, going this way will be adding 3. But going backwards, 8 minus 3, 5. 5 minus 3, 2. Therefore, continue subtracting 3. 2 minus 3. 2 minus 3 will be negative 1. And negative 1 minus 3 would be negative 4. Therefore, the missing term, the first term, is equal to negative 4. Therefore, your first term is equal to negative 4. Okay? So, how about in number 2? So, for you to practice, you may post this video for a while, and then you solve for this, and then after you have solved the number 2, you check your work by continue playing the video. That's one way for you to practice. Um, this um, uh, mathematics in the virtual class. Okay, find the seventh term if the second term is 6 and the fifth term is negative 6. So how do we do that? Okay, let us have now, or let, let us erase this now, or we, we may use this part as our solution. Okay, so in this, the information that you have is your first uh, your second term is 6, meaning you don't have your first term. You don't have the third term. don't have the fourth term, but you have your fifth term, negative 6. Uh, this is the second term, and this is the fifth term. And you don't have your sixth term, but you, have your, you don't have also the seventh term. This is uh, what we are looking for, the seventh term. Okay, how do we do that? Again, let us assume that this is your first term. And assume that this, if this is your first term, first, second, third, fourth, it will become your fourth term. As you can see, 2 became 1, so 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, and 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. So without doing this, you may, you may be able to assign first term as the 6 and the fourth term as the negative 6. So by having, if I will make 2, 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. So I will subtract 5 minus 1, 4. Uh, 2 minus 1 is 1, and that is the first term, 6. And subtract 1, 5 minus 1 is 4. So therefore, this is the first term, and this is the fourth term. Without doing this, is still okay. Okay? So your solution would be, if you are looking for this, you may first... You, sh you should first solve the common difference. So solving for the common difference is... First, let us assume that this is the n term. So a sub 4 is equal to your first term is 6 plus the n term represented is a sub 4, therefore the n is 4 minus, this is the constant, minus 1, always minus 1, times you don't know this yet. Okay, so continue by substitution, the fourth term will be negative 6, and then this will be transposed to the other side, positive 6 will be negative 6, then bring down the equal sign, then um, bring down 4 minus 1, 3 times d, 3d. Okay, so next step will be negative 6 minus 6, it's like having uh, addition of like sign, so we have here negative 12 equals 3d dividing both sides by 3 or if you are going to interpret negative 12 is equal to 3d what number is this d times 3 will be negative 12 so you don't have a, any other answer but negative 12 divided by 3 is equal to negative 4 your common difference is negative 4 okay as you can see your sequence here is decreasing why decreasing because positive became negative so in this, your sequence is increasing. Why? Because in your information, your third term is 2 and your sixth term is 11. It is increasing. That's why the common difference is positive. And in this one, positive 6 became negative. So this sequence is decreasing. So your common difference is negative 4. Let's check for us to find this. Let's check first if this will fit to our sequence. Okay? So 6 plus negative 4 is... 2. So it decreases. 2 plus negative 4 is negative 2. 
negative 2 plus negative 4 is negative 6, and that is correct. A negative 6 plus negative 4 is negative 10. A negative 10 plus negative 4 is negative 14. So therefore, your answer is correct. By the way, you may be able to check this also if, if your 7 term is really negative 14 by having your formula. Okay, let's do that. Since we don't have space here, okay, I will erase this part. Okay, let's check if... Uh, for us to have uh, general knowledge or overall understanding, if A sub 7 is really negative 14. Okay, by having the formula, again, A sub n is equal to first term plus the difference of n minus 1 times common difference. So if this is the n term, the 7, therefore, for my first term, you don't have yet your first term, so adjust. So in this, it is uh, decreasing, therefore, this is a bigger number, and 6 plus 4 will be 10. Okay? So your first term is 10 plus your n would be 7, your n is 7, minus 1, times the common difference. Your common difference is negative 4. Okay, let's check. Ne uh, 7 minus 1 times negative 4. Don't forget the parentheses. 7 minus 1 is 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. Again, 6 man times negative 4 is negative 24. Bring down 10. 10 minus 24 is negative 14. Therefore, your a sub 7 is really negative 14. I hope that helped uh, for you to understand arithmetic sequence. Okay? Thank you for listening.